Here we're given the polynomial p of x equals x to the fifth minus 8a1x, and we're asked to factor p into linear and irreducible quadratic factors with real coefficients. Well, we can certainly start out p of x has a common factor of x, so we can bring that x out, leaving us with x to the fourth minus 81. Now, if we look at x to the fourth minus 81 separately, we can notice that it is quadratic in form. If we let w equal x squared, x to the fourth minus 81 is x is, I'm sorry, w squared minus 81, which factors, because it is the difference of two squares, into w minus the square root of 81, which is 9, w plus the square root of 81, which is 9. But now, we back substitute the x squared for w, and we see that we get a factor of x squared minus 9, which is the difference of two squares. So we can factor that into x minus the square root of 9, which is 3 x plus the square root of 9, which is also 3. Then we still have the factor x squared plus 9. And so p of x factors into x times x minus 3 times x plus 3 times x squared plus 9 we say that factorization is over the real numbers. We cannot refactor x squared plus 9 without introducing uh, complex uh, constants into those binomials. So as we are asked in part b to go that extra step, what we can do is we can find the zeros of x squared plus 9 by noticing that x squared plus 9 equals 0 is equivalent to x squared equals negative 9, which means x is equal to plus or minus the square root of 9 times the square root of negative 1 which is equal to plus or minus 3i. And so we can actually factor one more step. We'll have the initial three factors, the x times the x minus 3 times the x plus 3, but we will also have, because 3i is a 0 of x squared plus 9, one factor will be x minus 3i, because the opposite of 3i is a factor, we'll also have a, or, or is a 0, we'll have a factor which is x minus a negative 3i, which is x plus 3i. So it's a fifth degree polynomial. There are five linear factors when it's factored over the complex numbers, meaning that, that in this result, uh, not all of the constant terms are real numbers. So let's go to the next example. This one is x cubed minus 5x squared plus 9x minus 45. Whenever I see an even number of terms, I 
always check to see if we can factor by grouping. This one already has a plus as the second operation, so because addition is associative, I can group the first two terms and the last two terms. In the first grouping, x squared is a factor. If we factor it out, we're left with x minus 5. In the second factor, it, 9, in the second grouping, 9 is a factor. If I factor it out, I get x minus 5. This confirms that we have a common factor, so we can factor out the x minus 5, and we're left with x squared plus 9. And this is as far as we can go, because as we saw in the previous example, x squared plus 9 can be factored, but it would be x minus 3i and x plus 3i, and those are not real numbers. So in the second part, when I'm asked to factor completely into linear factors with complex coefficients, I can go that additional step and have factors of x plus 3i and x minus 3i in addition to the x minus 5. In part a, x squared plus 9 is called irreducible in the set of real numbers. One last example. Here we have p of x equals x to the fourth plus 12x squared minus 64. This is quadratic in form if we let our w equal x squared, we'll get p of x equals w squared plus 12w minus 64. And this does factor two numbers that multiply to be negative 64 and add to be 12 are negative six are positive 16 and negative 4 so w plus 16 and w minus 4 now we back substitute x squared for w, the x squared plus 16 is irreducible in the set of real numbers, so we just recopy it, but we factor the difference of squares into x minus 2 times x plus 2. And this is where we stop in part A. Linear and irreducible quadratic factors with real coefficients. Now we can go the extra step, remembering that the zeros of x squared plus 16 can be found. x squared would be minus 16 and x would equal plus or minus the square root of 16 times the square root of negative 1, which is plus or minus 4i. And so x squared plus 16 has a 0 of 4i, so it has a factor of x minus 4i. It has a factor, I'm sorry, it has a 0 of negative 4i, so it has a factor of x minus negative 4i, which would be plus 4i. Then we recopy the x minus 2 
and the x plus 2. Notice we started out with a fourth degree polynomial and we have four linear factors when we allow complex coefficients.